since this room has a door into the garage, I don't feel comfortable calling it a bedroom. So this is going to be the office guest study. I don't know what this room is going to be used for, <coughs> but there you go. Coming on along, the commode seems to be fine. Both of the showers, okay, are a little tight. I think the other shower is tighter than this one. So you're not going to have a lot of you know, area, room to move here. Just kind of curiosity. You're supposed to have 30 inches from the um, drain and you don't have that there. You might have it to that corner. So underneath here is our lavatory. Hot's on the left. Hot's supposed to be on the left. The water heater doesn't work. So orientation for the plumbing. This is plumbing and appliances. Orientation is um, we, we're not going to be able to confirm that. <coughs> Um, we're missing our escutcheon plates for our water check valves underneath it. Heater works. Fan works too. Interesting thing about the heater and the fan working is they vent directly into the attic. They do not vent to the exterior. Fireplace is, a, is an appliance. So we got our fireplace here, 24 inch hearth. Our surround is closer than 24 inches. 12 inches to the opening. This is our little barbecue pit. You just put your barbecue in there. You got your rack up here. Good home inspection. This is a bud. So this is a natural wood burning fireplace. I don't know that that grate is sized properly, but it probably is. The ash door, there's an ash trap right there. The door's been screwed closed. And then coming on up in here, this is the part where I get to lay down. You can see those cracks? It needs to be sealed. Coming on up, there's your lentils. See that gap between your lentils? It needs to be sealed. You see where it's white? Okay, if the gas was going out, if the gas was going out, then those would all be dark. But they're not. It's called clean crack. It's got negative pressure. This fireplace is big and roaring, needed some air. Got some cracks at the back of the firebox right there. Started sucking the air out of the walls. Inside the chimney here, we've got some corbeling. It should have been parred smooth. It hardly ever is. Look at all the creosote build up. It's dirty. And the lentils, and it needs to be sealed around the lentils. Here's a fireplace lesson. Glass fronts are either completely closed or completely open. When you have them like this, this creates an auxiliary chimney. And it's like a plunger because the heat rises to your auxiliary chimney. It drags the carbon monoxide out into the room and puts you to sleep for a long time. So this is your barbecue grill. I don't know, man. It doesn't look like anybody's been barbecuing in here. But there it is. I can see up this chimney a little bit. Set appliances. We don't have an electric receptacle outlet on this wall. Anywhere. This is a gas grill. Turn the gas on. We have our little artificial briquettes right here. We got our grill and it just cooks away. We got our vent fan right up here. You know where it vents to? In the attic. Look at that electric cord. Do you think that's in good shape? I don't. Think it's time to replace it? Yeah, buddy. But the fans work, both of them. 
I say both of them because over here we have a kitchen island cooktop. These GFCI receptacles, excuse me, these electric receptacle outlets, they are not grounded and they're not GFCI protected. I say these because I mean both of these. This one, not grounded. None of these are GFCI protected except for this one. This one's grounded. I can't remember about this one. I can't. Nope. Not grounded. The food waste disposal is locked up. That's not, that's not disposing anything. Oven. Okay. Already did bake. Custom broil. Start, we'll give it a minute here. Turn off the light. The microwave works. I warmed up my this little red blue rag. This is our cooktop. I don't I don't know what to tell you about this one, honestly. cooking with gas then another vent fan now, this lights kind of neat you got a little rocker switch over here in case you just want to use this light how about this you turn this light on and then you want to well this keeps coming off well it's kind of nasty all oh, this needs to be cleaned a deep clean just stay the grease will hold it anyway you can adjust your beam how about that? And it's on its own circuit. How about that? Own switch. High, low, adjustable. The cord's falling. All this tape is loose. Look at that. Vent fan bits. Directly into the attic. Broiling away. Moving on along, we'll our laundry. I haven't been in the crawl space yet. I don't, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to go in the crawl space, but I'm going to try to go into the crawl space. And this vent is not labeled. The length of it should be labeled. And it does not have a hood outside. The laundry does not have grounding nor GFCI. Three-prong electric does not have GFCI. And if you've got a gas dryer, you're good to go. But if you don't have a gas dryer, then that um, valve should, be, should have been capped off. We've got a sub-panel. All right, so we've got a sub-panel. This is your second panel. Excuse me, third panel. What I call the third panel was, anyway... We're going to have another video about that. You've already seen the other video. Still no grounding, no GFCI. Even though they're advertising grounding, there is no grounding, no GFCI. We're going along. See, I'm intending on getting down there. Moving in here. We got cracked floors. And I filled up with some water. We've got separate water control handles. You're supposed to have a single mix valve, like you do in the other two bathrooms. But it wasn't required when it's built. But that's what you're supposed to have. Then, of course, this is tight. I'm telling you, if you try to wash your feet, your buns are going to get cold on that tile. Got gaps underneath both of the shower doors. I'll check the window later. You've already seen the window video, no doubt. Okay, and I don't know if hot's on the right and cold's on, hot's on the left and cold's on the right because the water heater's not working, but all the heaters work. This GFCI will not trip electrically. This GFCI will not trip electrically. I don't remember being on this wall. But I remember not tripping. kind of interesting having two 
<laughs> I'm glad they got paper here because the commode doesn't work. And we're missing our discussion plate. And underneath here, these two lavatory basins grew up calling on the bathroom sink. But anyway, our water supply lines do not have stops on them. You got to turn off the water to the house to get in here and work on that. Either one of them. And then you're missing your wall back there, so you got some fire blocking that's been compromised. Draft stopping. Draft stopping that's been compromised. But the heater does, you know, work. All three bathroom heaters work. Mm. Just a minute. The middle bedroom bath commode does not work, does not flush. Now the floor of this is messed up, okay? You see that? Let me come over here. This floor is messed up, and it makes me wonder if the shower pan's leaking. I'd be surprised to learn that it's not. Now, I see other water signs around here. Maybe the water heater was leaking. Yeah, a lot of stuff was leaking around here. So this is the middle bedroom. The one with the commode that doesn't work. The GFCI that will not trip electrically. Some of the smoke alarms, carbon monoxide alarms work, and some of them don't. This is in the hallway right here. And this carbon monoxide alarm, it doesn't work. I've got a more extensive list than that, but I'm just giving you an idea. The use of whole house fans is discouraged. This we live in the 21st century. Used to be back in the day. You close the house up, you know, for security and go to work. And you come home, you'd open up all the windows. And you'd open and turn that fan on. And it'd suck all the heat out of the house. And then you turn the fan off. And then leave the windows open and enjoy your nice spring day. But we have central air conditioning. It's a lot more effective. That is a heat sink. That's where all your bills go. That's all your money just goes right up that hole right there. This is an interesting uh, bathtub. I like it. You know, I'm, I'm weird that way. Okay. But this has been resurfaced. It used to be beige. You can tell because the resurfacing is peeling off of it. Another thing is we've got this little rack in here, which, you know, is a convenient idea, but it's probably not ideal for your application. And when you take that loose from that, it's probably going to crack and get, you know, the enamel finish again. This commode tank is cracked. I'm going to have to get this lid. So, but how you get a tank and a lid? You're probably more economical just to get a whole commode. These GFCIs work. These are the lavatory basins. You see, they have stops. Oh, missing the discussion plates. I don't remember that. Okay, that's what we want to do. So, we're missing some discussion plates. Still in D, yeah. Discussion plates missing from the primary bedroom. That's, oh, that's where we're at, the primary bedroom. Discussion plates missing from the primary bedroom lavatory basins. Basins. I'm getting tired. Well, actually, I was tired. Went to bed at 9 o'clock last night. <laughs> 